So hello and welcome to SBC S Space Cinema. Today I want to show you how to use the dollar store's tire patching kit. So first of all, we have to locate the hole and we do this by putting the hose under water and see where the bubbles come out. I mark the spot and now we can just start. This is the kit and it contains a little flask of rubber cement, uh, sandpaper, little rubber hose to fix old valves and some of those patches. And as you can see I've already used some of them. So what we have to do is we have to sand the spot and it's a good indicator to send it till you can't see the marking of the pen anymore. Yeah, you have to do a good job here. Try to make it as even as possible, but don't send to the holes. <laughs> you just want to rough up the surface. So, in the next step, we are applying the contact cement. And it works actually quite easy. And should do this outside, it's poisonous stuff. <laughs> yeah, We're just putting a dab of it on here. This is plenty enough. Make sure to reseal the bottle, you don't want to have this stuff sticking to everything. <laughs> and yeah, now I'm taking an old knife, but you can use everything to spread it around a bit. And then we have to. And as you can see, we gotta wait five minutes and then we apply the patch. Peeling the rubber backing up is always one of those things where you really need fingernails or a knife or something to help you. <laughs> But yeah, once you get it loose, it is actually quite easy. <laughs> and yeah, there we go. Next step is we gotta see where we have to put it, and then we just apply it. Yeah, and then rubber cement, contact cement in this case, is just very good. The more you press it on, the better it sticks. Just really press on it and yeah. Give it another five minutes till you reinflate the tire. <laughs> and don't forget to clean up the mess. <laughs> Yeah, that's the kit here once again. And you can of course use every kind of tire uh, patching kit. They are work all mostly the same. <laughs> so now I'm putting a bit of air back in the tire. And once we got it filled up, it should look like this. <laughs> Putting a bit of water over it to see if there are any bubbles remaining. But I can't see any. But 
what you can also do is to use the bag from before hold it underwater and perfect so and now I have mounted it again and we're going on a little test drive and as you clearly can see this tire is fit for many many more miles to come <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time here on SBC SB Cinema.